Welcome. Welcome to our service for Remembrance Sunday. For the sake of your Son, Jesus Christ, who died for us, 
forgive us all that is past, and thereby grant that we may serve you in newness of life. To the glory of your name. Amen. Almighty God, who forgives all who truly repent, have mercy upon you. Pardon and deliver you from all your sins. Confirm and strengthen you in all goodness and keep you in life eternal through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. The Collect for Remembrance Sunday. Let us pray. Almighty Father, whose will is to restore all things in your beloved Son, the King of all, govern the hearts and minds of those in authority and bring the families of the nations divided and torn apart by the ravages of sin to be subject to his just and gentle rule, who is alive and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. A reading from the Wisdom of Solomon. The beginning of wisdom is the most sincere desire for instruction, and concern for instruction is love of her. And love of her is the keeping of her laws, and giving heed to her laws is assurance of immortality, and immortality brings one near to God. So the desire for wisdom leads to a kingdom. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. A reading from St Paul's first letter to the Thessalonians. We do not want you to be uninformed, brothers and sisters, about those who have died, so that you may not grieve as others do who have no hope. For since we believe that Jesus died and rose again, even so, through Jesus, God will bring with him those who have died. For this we declare to you by the word of the Lord, that we who are alive, who are left until the coming of the Lord, will by no means precede those who have died. For the Lord himself, with a cry of command, with the archangel's call, and with the sound of God's trumpet, will descend from heaven, and the dead in Christ will rise first. Then we who are alive, who are left, will be caught up in the clouds together with them to meet the Lord in the air. And so we will be with the Lord for ever. Therefore, encourage one another with these words. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God.
hear the Gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ according to Matthew. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus said, The kingdom of heaven will be like this. Ten bridesmaids took their lamps and went to meet the bridegroom. Five of them were foolish, and five were wise. When the foolish took their lamps, they took no oil with them, but the wise took flasks of oil with their lamps. As the bridegroom was delayed, all of them became drowsy and slept. At midnight there was a shout, Look, here is the bridegroom, come out to meet him. Then all those bridesmaids got up and trimmed their lamps. The foolish said to the wise, Give us some of your oil, for our lamps are going out. But the wise replied, No, there will not be enough for you and for us. You'd better go to the dealers and buy some for yourselves. And while they went to buy it, the bridegroom came, and those who were ready went with him into the wedding banquet, and the door was shut. Later the other bride bridesmaids came also, saying, Lord, Lord, open to us. But he replied, Truly I tell you, I do not know you. Keep awake, therefore, for you know neither the day nor the hour. This is the Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, O Christ. You may have noticed that I often wear around my waist during a time of holy worship, I wear a rope belt, just like this one. It's very useful. It stops my robes flapping. It means that, well, I'm wearing a red stole today, it stops it getting in the way, keeps it in place. In all respects, it keeps order, and thereby makes my life a lot easier, makes it look better too. This cord is designed to be strong, and it is strong. It won't stretch, it won't shrink, it won't change its size or dimensions. But look at it, it looks like it's in one piece, but actually, if I twist it, it comes into three separate parts. They come together very neatly, so that you don't even notice there are three parts. If it was just one part, it would be weaker. If it was two parts, they would stray and come apart. That third separate strand is necessary to keep the whole together, in part unity, in part order. And in the same way, we as human beings are made up of three parts, body, mind and spirit. A body with no mind or spirit is no use at all, like a sausage, a bit of meat. And a brain, well a brain needs something to live in, body and mind, but the spirit is necessary as well. It communicates with God, and God communicates to us through it. It's through the Spirit that we know right and wrong, order. It's through the Spirit that we are directed in the ways of godliness and peace. Body and mind and spirit. If you lose one of those three, we're not really human. If you lose two of those three, we're not really much use at all. As we enter lockdown then, please look after yourself. Look after your body. Look after your mind, and perhaps because it's more easily forgotten, look after your spirit too. Body, mind and spirit, you need all three to be strong.
in God the Father, the source of all being and life, the one for whom we exist. We believe and trust in him. Do you believe and trust in God the Son, who took our human nature, died for us, and rose again? We believe and trust in him. Do you believe and trust in God the Holy Spirit, who gives life to the people of God and makes Christ known in the world? We believe and trust in him. This is the faith of the Church. This is our faith. We believe and trust in one God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Amen. Let us pray. Loving Heavenly Father, thank you that you love us and help us to love you. This Remembrance Sunday, as an expression of our love, help us to work for peace and start by stilling our hearts and our minds that peace might flow through us as well as into us. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Loving Father, we pray for your church. We pray that your church might be a means of peace and live in peace. A church of peacemakers who are blessed thereby. In your mercy, hear our prayer. We pray for your world. We pray for those parts of the world that suffer the indignities of war and injustice. Places where peace is no longer even a memory. So we pray for peace in our world. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. For ourselves and those we know, those affected by war, whose lives are scarred and broken. In a moment of silence, let's bring all of them into the loving presence of God. Loving Father, we pray your peace and your love upon each, your healing. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. And we pray for those who died, those who died recently, those who died of COVID, those who died in war and because of war. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. And we gather together all these prayers as we say together, Our Father in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Your kingdom come. Your will be done on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins, as we forgive those who sin against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. When I 
Thank you for joining us for our time of worship. I hope you felt the presence of God and been comforted thereby. And as we enter into lockdown again, please remember that God is with you, wanting to love you and give you of himself. 